That's Ms. Diaz to you. Yep. Hello, boxing fans around the world. Thank you once again for joining us on Talk and Fight for another episode with Mike Gore four of Knuckle Up. Yeah, man. We here. We're, we are concluding our week-long week. series of boxers with the with We're, the we're concluding boxers. our week of journeymen. Journeymen. And women. And women. And women. The, the uh, I guess, we'll, the, the, ground, the groundwork. The guys that put in the the groundwork for the prospects, the guys that are there at the door to help these guys push past those four, six, and eight round fights to get them to the next level of their illustrious boxing career, as they pass the guy who is not going to have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I give these guys credit, though, man. You know, as, as bad as these records have been all week. You gotta, you gotta remember these guys have been in the ring three hundred times. Like, we're never gonna see that again. You know, like I, I doubt. Well, there is a guy that's active right now with one hundred and seventy-one losses. Uh, he's fought back-to-back weekends. We'll talk about him another time. Maybe we'll get him on and, and find out why he decided to become a human punching bag. But it's Female Friday, so let's talk. Who do you have? Zuludi Diaz. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. So she's ranked number two out of two in the Dominican Republic. She was born in San, <laughs> Santo Domingo. She's 5'1", 34 years old. She's had 22 bouts, 38 rounds, zero wins. She's fought zero for 22, and she's been knocked out 21 times. Oof. So she's only had one fight go the distance, and she lost by unanimous decision. So kind, kind of like uh, kind of like the guy, we, uh, was it Eric Crumble, I believe we were talking yeah. about? Uh, 0, 0 and 32 with uh, 30, 32 knockouts. This girl's not far behind. Uh, I believe she's still, she's still active, her career. Uh, she's been, her career spans 20 years, man. She debuted, uh, 2001, uh, July 17th. So, you know, and when you look at her record, she literally fights people who are debuting two and oh, you know, five and seven, one and oh, five and two. She fights the up and comers, the guys that we like to see, but yeah, I didn't think, uh, I really didn't think in my journey and uh, this week of profiling all these great boxers that we have, that I would find a journey woman. I was having trouble, and I didn't think we were going to find it, but we finally did. Uh, I found this article that um, that's put me on to them, or her, uh, called Worst Female Boxers in the World. So, with that being said, boxing is a tough sport. Not many people know how hard it is really Uh, when we think of female boxers. However, uh, we think of Katie Taylor, right? Who is currently an unbeaten Irish woman. Um, You know, she has currently only been, I believe she's what 13, 12 or 13 fights now, or maybe even more. Oh, I can't even remember. We'll we'll talk about that after. Uh, And, and she's surely going to carry on fighting Uh, Delphine Pursun. We've talked about her, you know, up and over 40 fights, Um, you know, uh, Cecilia Baracus, you know, another unbeaten uh, lady. You know, we look at uh, Clarissa Shields. We look at uh, Jessica McCaskill. We look at, you know, all these great women fighters. And, you know, who currently hold all these major titles. You know, and it's it's great. It's great we see that. But there are two women. Zaludi Diaz, and I want to mention another one. Susan Andeso. Um, she's born in Kenya. 1984, she started her boxing career 2009 when she fought someone called Jane Cavalluni. Unfortunately, Susan, she lost the first round via KO. So she decided to keep her head up high and keep fighting. She went up against another woman uh, a few months later in 2010, but it ended the same way. First round KO. Uh, Round one knockout. So Susan went on to fight 10 more fights. And lose every single one of them. Four on points, six via knockout, and as of right now, she is an inactive boxer 
So she won't be able to change her record and try to get a win to her name in the future. She's had 12 bouts and lost everyone with eight being from a knockout, 36 rounds altogether. If she had a better start to her career, maybe she would still be boxing. The closest fight she had to winning was against uh, Everlene Odiro in 2016, only losing by four points. That's got to suck, right? You got you got all these losses under your belt. You know, you're going the distance there, and you lose on four points. Like, you know, that's a, that's a kick in the ass when you're down. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but then we get to Zaludi Diaz. 1986, she was born, Dominican Republic. She started her boxing career July 2001. And unfortunately, she did not do very well, uh, managing to survive till the third round before being knocked out. Uh, this is a running theme with some boxers. When they lose one fight, they'll lose them all. She ended up having 20 bouts and getting knocked out. Well, sorry, 21 bouts and getting knocked out 20 times. With one fight, lost on points. She wasn't the best boxer, but she is still active and can gain herself a win if she keeps going and trying to get that win. Uh, Zaludi went up against Marilyn Hernandez. Uh, didn't get knocked out, but only just lost by unanimous decision. She still has time to gain that win. So, guys, let's try and get behind her. <laughs> and uh, let's let's will her. Let's will her a win. Because, you know what, I think, I think she needs a win. You know, to get in there, it's got to, you know, to hang your head high – as you walk out to the ring every time knowing you have no win and, and and you're approaching, you know, 20 fights, 21 fights, and you've been knocked out 20 of those times, I think I think you need to find another profession. But she's still active, so we gotta we, we gotta we gotta hope. We gotta hope that she gets a win. She can't finish off this career with a zero. No, no, no. We can't do that. We can't do that. But um, guys, you uh, you probably won't see her much. She doesn't fight uh, stateside. She doesn't fight anywhere uh, anywhere that you'd recognize her. You'd have to search for her fights. Um, she fights in the Dominican, man, and uh, I don't think she'll ever leave the Dominican because I think you have to win a couple times to do that. So unfortunately, we won't see her outside of the Dominican. But guys, if you can find a stream, uh, just. Check out her, you know, check out her news. See if she's coming into the ring again. Because you know what? Let's 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 will her one, man. It's female Friday. Let's let's will her that win and hope that she comes through with it. Salute Diaz. You know, it's no it's no 279 losses, but it's it's up there, man. Like for for women. Women don't, you know, women's women's records are very, very small compared to men. You know, you had Clarissa Shields, eleven fights fighting for the second undisputed championship of the world and does it and becomes the first woman or man to ever do it. And then you got this girl who just can't get her shit together. I don't know if it's boxing coach team who knows what it is, or maybe she just doesn't have the skill, but we're going to, we're, we're going to, we're going to pray for her. We're going to pray for her to have one win. One. We got to see her. Is she still active? We got to see it. We got to see it. I will say, at least she doesn't leave it in the hands of the judges. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You're right. And when she did, she still lost. She still lost when she left it in the hands of the judges. Only by four points. But you know what? She's not leaving it in the hands of the judges, sure. You know, oh, she's uh, she probably brings her pillow and blanket to the ring. That's what I'm thinking. You know, when you're when you getting knocked out that much, that's that's bad on that's bad on the head, man. That's that's brain damage. You get knocked out like that. How do you, how we got to talk to some of these people, man? That's what we got to do. We got to get these people in here. We got to schedule an interview because we got to find out what keeps these people driven to get in that ring time after time with these crazy losses. Unreal. It's unreal. We can ask. Uh... Upcoming on our Friday night panel, we have a couple of former boxers. Uh, yes. one, one a champ, one an almost champ. And uh, we could ask them that question. You know what? Yeah, we should. Uh, we're talking about Scully, right? Scully's coming on? Both Scully and Carlos Palomino. Wow. Okay, that's going to be great. I can't wait. Knuckle Up fans, you heard that. Tonight, 7 o'clock. Channel. Same channel. 
We got the Friday night panel. I'm pretty sure it's going to be me and Graham. Because <laughs> that's what our Friday night panel has become. Me and Graham. Um, hopefully Tim Witherspoon is uh, feeling better enough to join us. That'd be great. Uh, yep. I haven't heard from him in a while. Right. Um, you know, much love goes up to him and his family. Yep. And, and hopefully, you know, a speedy recovery. Uh, yeah. Guys, you heard it here. Salute Diaz. Not no fancy boxer. Uh, I guess a tomato can, a journey woman, if you call it. Uh, never leaving the Dominican. Takes her pillow and blanket to her uh, to the ring with her. You know, doesn't leave in the hand of the judges. That's what we're talking about. And uh, that's the end of the week of worst records in boxing history. What a week! What a week! You know, I didn't think I didn't think I would find half of the people that I found. And then I think about all the people that I didn't even mention because it's not. <laughs> You know what we gotta do? We got we gotta start we gotta start a a, a fight league that uh, you have to have over a hundred losses to enter. And we'll start putting these guys with a hundred losses together and see what happens. I think it would be interesting. <laughs> that being said, knuckle up fans, thank you for tuning in. Female Friday, Zaludi Diaz, twenty one and sorry, oh and twenty one. <laughs> Was it 0 and 21? I keep wanting this. No, sorry. 0 and 22. 0 and 22, 21 knockouts. Yeah, uh, and and uh, those knockouts are her being knocked out. Just just to clarify, people that are watching, she's been knocked out 21 times after 22 wins. She can't she can't even win it going to the judges. Thank you for tuning in. Another female Friday. Next week we'll be back to our hottest prospects around the world. Make sure you join us tonight, 7 p.m. on the channel for the panel. Yep. Loving it. <laughs> we got some great guests. We're going to get in deep. It's going to be an hour of awesome conversation. Make sure you tune in, guys. And don't make me come and make you subscribe. Go to TalkingFight.com and hit that damn subscribe button. I'm tired of telling you guys this. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Jab that like, hook, subscribe. Knock us out those comments. We're always here. We love interacting. We love our fans. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here doing this. And... I believe there's some fights on tonight, right? We've got some big ones coming. We have a great weekend lined up, absolutely. I, I know. I know. I've already cleared my schedule. Not that we lined it up, but no, no. It, it is lined up. and uh, it's, it's lined there up. Will, there will be some great fights. There's going to be some great fights. I can't wait. Uh, but we're going to discuss that later on the panel. So, exactly. guys, make sure you tune in. 7 o'clock. Great guests. Great talks. We'll talk about the fight. That's it, man. Knuckle up, people. Happy Female Friday. <laughs>